Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Aki. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the TCL 55 inches 4K TV. So I recently just moved to a new apartment, with the rent being so expensive and I gotta buy a whole bunch of furniture. I really don't have much money to spend on a TV. That's why I decided to give this $279 TV a try. Let's see if this is the most budget and affordable TV that you can buy from the market. Without further ado, let's open this thing up. And also, if you enjoy this type of contents, make sure you like the video and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Got my handy Letterman tool. Actually, you would just need a scissor for it. How about this? A scissor for eating lobster. So my initial impression of the TV is that it's made with mostly plastic. If you come to the back, uh, it's actually just like one piece of huge piece of plastic that's molded into shape. I actually quite like it. Angular design in the back. You could possibly put like LED light strip. I'm not doing that because I'm not a big fan of LED. On the bottom here, you have these vertical, vertical pattern. Uh, it looks very modern. Very minimal design, which is something that I'm a big fan of. We have TCL logo in the middle, and um, there's like a like a notch underneath it. I think that's the infrared signal receiver or something. Now let's do the big plastic. Ooh, that's so satisfying. Go. Awesome. It's kind of like glossy but matte finish to it. Roku TV right here, which I personally don't use much. I prefer the Apple TV because I bought into the Apple ecosystem. All right, now let's hook up all the cable to test out the image quality. Let's grab our power cable. Here are the ports to the right side of the TV. We have the power port it's right here. And the TV is on for the first time. The color is not super accurate right now because I have my windows blind open. So it's like super bright outside. But this is like the first time set up screen. Included batteries. It's TCL's own, own brand of battery. <laughs> to open the remote battery, you just push and slide. If it's too triple A, slide back and here you go. So this is a remote for the TCL 4 series TV. The buttons are super clicky. You have three buttons that control the volumes on the side. These dials are in purple. And of course you have your shortcuts to Netflix, Disney, Apple and HBO, which I probably won't use because I will be using the Apple TV remote anyway. Okay, so I finally done setting up the new TV. Here's the main UI for the TCL 55 inches 4K TV. So let's go to YouTube. I personally don't use Roku TV because I had a older TCL and whenever you would use it, it start to like get really laggy and then it would be unusable at some point. So I'm just gonna connect my HDMI to Apple TV. So this is the viewing distance from my living room. It's like 7 to 10 feet back. So everything looks pretty sharp. Okay, so I found a 4K video on YouTube. Knowing that it's a $279 TV compared to you know, LG, Samsung, Sony for a 55 inches 4K TV, you're looking for something that's at least five or six hundred dollars and it could definitely go up to two to three thousand dollars for a fraction of the price you're getting a exceptional image quality at least in my opinion let's walk closer to see if we can see the individual pixel 
so this is a closer look at the 4k pixels i can definitely see it but it's you know we're we're being really close to tv like we're about a foot away this is my hand in comparison and if i start to slowly back up all the pixels disappear because you're just not physically possible to look at the pixels from from a distance i think for me it's it's a very good tv for its value and the image quality because my main use is, is to watch it when i when i'm eating like when i'm having dinner i also play like switch on it no um, recently i started playing the game legend of zelda breath of the no not breath of the wild the uh, tears of the kingdom what am i saying I'm definitely excited to play that game on the bigger screen versus handheld. This TV, it would do it for me, you know? I don't need anything crazy. The speaker on this TV, it's not bad, you know, it does the job. Not much bass to it. So if you want to watch a movie, you want to have that full immersive experience, I definitely recommend getting a sound bar. But yeah, I'm not really complaining about the sound quality. Just like the image quality, you know, it's it's fair for its price. Okay, so this is a nighttime test for the TCL 55 inch 4K TV. Uh, as you can see, how bright it is. In conclusion, I feel like this is definitely one of the, if not the most budget 4K 55 inches you can get. I think for like 20 or 30 dollars more, you can get the 60 inches version. Correct me if I'm wrong. In my opinion, this is totally worth it. It's the most budget 55 inches 4K TV out there on the market right now, 2023. Like this video if you find this helpful and subscribe for more contents about tech gadgets, unboxing and review.